Okay, now we're going to go through the penalties that occur in a Kumite match. Obviously at the moment we're only going through the very basic and simple um, guidelines. We're not going too in-depth because it is the All-Star Karate League. It's a, a base level novice competition. So we're just trying to highlight for parents and for students alike when they're entering the competition, they have a great um, you know, comprehension of the, the basic rules. Okay, so as you can see on the board, there are quite a few penalties. We have two categories, category one and category two. Category one is pretty much, if you just remember over contact, it's basically that. So excessive contact um, and attack, contact with the throat, as I said before, is a category one warning. Attacks to the face with an open hand, if you try to spike somebody in the face with an open hand, category one. Dangerous throwing techniques. The children and students should know what they can and can't do. You won't see many throws in the All-Star Karate League, mainly for that reason. So that's all that can happen with category one. If you look down at the scoreboard, the children will be fighting, and if they get a category one warning one, the first warning is called Chukoku, which is the C. You do that for me, guys. Oh, and the blue side, very good. Okay, that's one warning. If they do another category one offense, then they get Keikoku, which is two. And then again, Hansoku Chui, which is three. And then the fourth warning is Hansoku. If this occurs, the athlete gets disqualified straight away. Okay, then take them back, please. So that's for category one. Category one and category two are not accumulative. So these are the category two offenses. Feigning injury, so faking injury. Um, exit from the competition area. So if you watch the boys over here, they're sparring. And Max is quite tall, so he's quite aggressive. And he's pushing, pushing, pushing. And Harry's foot goes over the red mat. The, the referee will say, yum, yeah. The boys will come back to the centre. And then Harry will be awarded Shukoku, one warning for stepping out. Okay? Um, same as before on the scoreboard, it'll go first Shukoku, Keikoku, Hansoku Chui, Hansoku. Hansoku's disqualification. Okay, self endangerment, which is called Mubobi in Japanese, is also another warning for category two. So the boys are sparring, and Harry's fighting with no guards. And he's coming in to attack Max. This is not protecting him. He's not protecting himself. It's not a good idea. Category two again. Uh, passivity. Passivity is an interesting one. They start sparring and nothing's happening. So they're both. They're kind of trying to get distance and they're moving, but no one's throwing any techniques. This is probably when the referee kind of gets bored. It's like ten seconds or so. I will say yame. It will make this signal, and then both. But you can't do it for long. You can't hold on with two hands or you get the category two. Okay, if you are holding with one as you leave the clinch, if you don't score straight away or attempt to score straight away, category two warning. However, if Rory comes out and then straight away scores, this is okay. You can hold on. Okay, another way to get category two. Boys are fighting. Zane throws a very uncontrolled technique like this. Oh, okay, it wasn't anywhere near Rory's head, and Rory didn't get hurt. However, if it was, very, very dangerous. So you will get a warning for that. Uncontrolled techniques. Um, also, if they're fighting and Rory starts talking to Zane or Cody, come on, boy, come on, come on, any of this, and also to the referee or judges, they start talking, category two warning. Okay, okay one of the newer rules is the Senshu rule, and um, we'll show you this now. Scoreboard. Rory now has one point for Yuko, and underneath that it says Senshu. Okay, you can see Aka, red, 
um, has Senju and both Aka and Al, Blue, have a two-all draw. In this case, Aka will win because they had Senju. Right at the end of the match, the boys are moving. It's about to hit 15 seconds. You'll hear the buzzer. Atoshi Baraku, Yame. Okay, Atoshi Baraku just means there's a small amount of time to go. So Zayn stepped out. Usually, he gets one warning. So at the moment, Zayn has no warnings at all. If any warning happens or penalty happens, in the last 15 seconds, the warning goes straight to Han Sokuchui, which is the third one. So you will hear this, Aka Han Sokuchui. Okay, and the referee will point to his shoulder. He goes straight up to three warnings. Okay, then the score at the moment is five all and Rory's winning because he has Senju. They've both got three warnings. Oh no, sorry. Zane's got three warnings. Rory has two in each category. And Suzuki de Hajime, they keep sparring. He wants to win. He avoids combat. Yame. He's avoided combat in the last 15 seconds. He gets Han Sokuchui now. Oh, Han Sokuchui. Senju, Torimasen. He loses Senju now. So now the score is five all. Nobody has Senju and there's seven seconds to go. Okay, if the boys continued to spar and nobody scored, yame, then it was a referee's decision because it's a draw and there's no Senju. The referee will blow his whistle and the judges and referee will vote whoever they thought was the more dominant fighter. Generally, if somebody loses Senju and the score is tied, the other competitor will win. Not always, but most of the time. So you really don't want to lose Senju. It's like a piece of gold. Um, another way to lose Senju, so Rory lost Senju because he avoided combat in the last 15 seconds. If he steps out in the last 15 seconds, he will also lose Senju. So this concludes our MMA with Nick and Ray overview of rules for the All-Star Karate League. Once again, it is just a basic outline. Um, we're trying to help educate mums and dads who are bringing along their young children to maybe their first competition. And obviously, you know, if you haven't been in the sport yourself, mum and dad or you know, anyone in the family hasn't competed or doesn't have previous experience um, with karate as a sport, it can often be difficult to know what's happening and what scores a point, what doesn't score a point, and also what is a penalty. So we really hope that this helps and over the next term and throughout the years we get a better grasp on the rules.